Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So I hope you're all doing well. Now, I was not intending on going anywhere else apart from, well, nowhere to be honest with you. The only two places I really wanted to venture out to was Sainsbury's as one, um, as there I can do online. Is there anywhere else? Poundland, and I've already done that, but I might go back again if I've got a different range. So, I went back on the ISO Halloween UK 2021 page run by Lauren Griffiths and I seen a shop with some nice stuff in it and I was like, well, we've got one of them shops in town. Damn, I was in town the other day as well. So yeah, I've got a, a bus pass guy so I can, I can come back and forth as I wish because I've got a disability bus pass. Now bearing in mind when I got up this morning, I in a lot of pain I'm still in a lot of pain but I'm just too scared of just being bed bound in case I get a blood clot so I try and move at my pace sometimes it's not always the best case <laughs> so I ended up getting um I had to do click and collect from TK Maxx I'll explain that on the TK Maxx video why I've had to do that but I decided you know what what if I am going to go there I'll have another look in home bargains even though it's the smallest of home bargains and there's chances that they won't be doing any of that stuff in I'll have a look in there I'll have a look at B&M have got their Halloween stuff in um and I'll have a look in Wilco to see if they've got their stuff in so off I went into town I went into Wilco's I didn't see any Halloween whatsoever no signs of them even starting Halloween although they have started stacking shelves for Christmas being there, I went all the way through the store, lots of Christmas stuff. And then as I was going to exit, there was um, half an aisle, literally, of some stuff. Um, stuff that I got last year that I don't need to buy this year. Um, pumpkins stacked up on top of each other that light up. Nothing that particularly made me want to buy any of it. So um, I left it and then I went into this shop. So we're going to be doing a mixed haul, guys. Mainly one below and i'll tell you a little story about one below one below which is another pound shop which is actually pound world where i used to work <laughs> um and then i went over to poundland and i did a little bit of filming on both guys so i'm going to put that on in a minute um and then my my friend caught me filming and he actually said to me you know you're not supposed to film and i was like really <laughs> I didn't know all that and he went yeah 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 you're not supposed to film although we take the sound off really we're not supposed to be filming in the shops and I was like <laughs> so I ended up then going um back on the bus hall uh, to Bentley Bridge went into the big B&M there to have a look at the Adonai Halloween they had uh, a little bit nothing again not even I took uh, an insert picture here yeah Nothing and home bargains again had that small little aisle with nothing really that really pleases me. So then I went over to click and collect. Anyway, guys, without without going on any further and wittering on, here's a video of One Below and Poundland. See you in a jiffy.
right guys had to take a quick break um for personal reasons um right so that was one below and poundland so let's get stuck in to what i grabbed they had so much stuff guys as you could see a lot of stuff was like to decorate your home with and stuff i'll be completely honest with you this year i'm not too sure if we're going to be here for halloween and the way i see it i have got i've got a whole box guys like this of decorations for halloween i've got all permaland last year the pumpkins and stuff which i really want to keep out things like that i'm going to be putting away to keep out when i move into my next home so I didn't want any decorations. So I just grabbed things that are what I call all year round things. So let's get stuck in. First thing I grabbed was this, and I actually regret not grabbing the others. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go back to one below again, but if I do end up going into town for whatever reason, um, or even when I'm in Birmingham on Friday, if they've got one below there, I might grab the whole set of these. These were £1.50 and this says keep it creepy. They're just wine glasses. Now, I've got a lot of wine glasses. I've got a lot of wine glasses. I've got daughter wine glasses. I've got sister wine glasses. I've got a lot of wine glasses. But I just thought this is quite cute and I've got the, I don't know if you've noticed, um, I've got a coffin thing like where you put your wine in and your wine glasses I'll put a picture up of it here i've got one of them so oh, i'm gonna go back guys i'm gonna go back you'll see it in the video with the i'm gonna go back and get the green one and the orange one and I, they can go on my unit um it needs washing guys a lot of dirty finger marks all over it but one pound 15 it is a proper wine glass and i love it so that was my first thing i grabbed guys um second thing I grabbed was this tablecloth, white easy tablecloth. I've just got a kitchen table that it, it folds down, and but it folds up like this. It used to be grandma and granddad's. We we're actually <coughs> we were gonna sand it and do everything with it, but it's not actually real wood like my the nested tables are. We're gonna <coughs> sorry guys, we're gonna upcycle these black. So I'm gonna be doing some sign on it we'll do that in a video sometime next year <coughs> so i wanted a tablecloth for the kitchen that i can just wipe easy because i've got a material one and i'm forever putting it in the wash and i've seen this one and i've actually got the spider web netting over the material one at the minute i could actually put this and the netting over the top Ooh, ah, my fans disappear guys and i'm having hot flushes this was a pound and again it was i can't read about my glasses god my eyes have got so bad 178 by 132 centimetres. We have a look, guys, how big that is. Because I think I think that might be a fair size, to be honest with you. Oh, it's actually like a material one, guys. Oh, this is really good. Oh! Oh my lord, this is huge. Huge. Wow. Yep. This will fit my table for sure. What I might even do, guys, is... Oh, it's massive. Never will get <laughs> opening it up. It is huge. That will fit my table. What I might do is get a black tablecloth and put the black cloth underneath it. And then that protects that cloth and this cloth. Right. So you can see, guys, it's humongous. I'm going to drop my glasses on the floor. Right, moving on. So I got that. Then I grabbed, oh yes. I grabbed not one. In fact, we'll do that one in a minute. I grabbed this dish. Now, a couple of years back, I got a couple of dishes. I can't remember where I got them from. Like cobweb designs, got an orange and a green one. I think it was Aldi. Now, I wanted the ghost one of these, but they'd sold out. I couldn't, I couldn't see any anywhere. And they had the Day of the Dead, like trays and plates, but they were plastic and I, I, I I don't really want to collect anything plastic. This is actually a pot dish. And my kitchen's going to be all skull related and ghost related. So I thought this is cute. This was £1.50 as well, guys. And it was the last one. So I grabbed it. Obviously. So obviously for them two items, that would have cost £3. These next items that I'm going to show you are actually a pound. And I can't believe it. So I got this really nice marble effect. Um, skull 
and then I got the it's like an oil slick oil slick effect and then a white marbly oil slick guys these were a pound and these are like pot and as you know I collect skulls I've got a, a, a massive collection of skulls and it won't end there guys I'll probably carry on collecting next year uh, as for like Halloween I'm, I'm only buying little bits and pieces now that I see along with just a few things from either either there that shop or that shop but I, when I seen one below I had all this stuff I thought oh I'm gonna have to go in so they were a pound each guys and I'm so chuffed about that I don't know if I'm gonna put these in my kitchen um, to go with the design but I could have bought more guys you know it's crazy it's crazy what they had in there right I also grabbed one of these oh my god that I got two orange and I got a black and a white these are amazing guys these are actually they, I don't know, a pot or wood, I don't know. They had a big one as well, which was £2. I like that one, um, but I didn't like it enough to pay £2 for it. I suppose you can only have so much out on your shelves before it starts looking like clutter. And like Ben's, he hates, he hates all this stuff. He's like, oh, where are you going to put it all? And I'll be like, I'll, I'll find places. I'll buy a unit. I'll buy a, a big unit if I have to. But these were a pound each, guys. So I got an orange one, got a white one, and I got a black one. Now, they've got like glittery spiders on them. So this one's got gold glittery spiders. This one's got black glittery bats. And this one's got glittery black spiders as well. And I grabbed this for a friend that I'm seeing soon because I just thought oh how cute is that so I've got that for her as you know I got the pumpkins from next the little baby pot pumpkins these are gonna go on there so I've got like a, a little pumpkin thing going on here I do have a pumpkin thing going over there as well so I could put either either there I think that was all that I grabbed from one below guys let me just put them there um yeah that was all I grabbed from one below um, just because I didn't really want any of the, the other decorations out there, they had um, her clips, you know, the skull hands, I've got like loads of them, um, little bows, they had makeup, they had masks, lots of masks, so if you're doing TikTok and you're doing a bit of cosplay, you've got plenty of masks in there, I'm not a, I'm not a lover of masks, to be honest with you, I don't mind the purge masks much, but I'm not really into like clown masks and stuff like that. My hair's in my face. So then I, I went into Poundland just to have a, a quick note to and see if anything changed since last week when I went in. And to be honest with you, they did have a more stuff in. So I grabbed another cauldron mug. Because they're just I just think these are fantastic for a pound, guys. I really do. I mean I've got for, I've got five cauldron cups now, <laughs> six cauldron cups, and you put, I don't really need six, but you know, for a pound, you can't really complain. So yeah, I've got another one of them, and I've got another cauldron candle, because I hate on, I hate odd numbers, and I've already got two from last year, and then I've just bought one the other day, so I thought I'm gonna have to buy another one, because I don't like the, this odd i don't know that's maybe my little cd but i grabbed another one these are amazing guys i had them last year the smell is um caramel apple and violet scent i think that says caramel apple and violet scent yeah i got that right Mm, I like the smell of it. It's nice. They do these in gold as well, guys, but I try to steer away from gold because my front room, it obviously, is going to be just black and white when I actually move. I mean, at the minute, I've got white walls anyway, apart from my chimney breast, which is red and grey and white, but that was my colour theme when I first moved in here, was red, black and grey. So now just pulling back to the, them colours. So I grabbed that. That's, that was two pound guys and I grabbed another box of these because I think these are amazing for a pound. These are normally really, really expensive guys, like 5 99 or something. It's crazy like that. These are the bleeding tapered candles and it's got three pack. Now, there was something I found in, T in TK Maxx and I've got, guys, I really wanted it. Really, really, really wanted it. 
but I just couldn't justify paying for it when I'm going to Birmingham on Friday and the chances are it might be in Birmingham anyway and rather save my money for Birmingham so I was like my heart was aching walking away from that I got these from Poundland uh, and that was it from Poundland quickly guys I grabbed a couple of things from Home Bargains, nothing spooky related, but I grabbed two of these candles. I got one to go in my um, skull dish there and one to go in another dish that I grabbed, which you will see in a later video. These are the vanilla ones. I like I like the smell of vanilla. I didn't want too many scents going around in my front room because I've got vanilla burn at the minute. These are 79p each and I thought they were cheaper than the church candles, which were 99p. So I just got them. I've got another pack of batteries because I've got a whole box of batteries now. I'm just building up all my batteries, AA, AA, A, and the pencil batteries because everything that I, I have is run by batteries. So if they die, there's plenty there. I really should just get rechargeable batteries to be honest with you guys. They're only a pen. I've got some more tea lights coming up to Halloween. I will be burning candles pretty much every night and through the winter. So this is just a little bag of 30. Normally I buy the massive bag. I buy two of them. They normally last me through through to Christmas. But yeah, just one pound for them guys. Then I got some worthers just to throw in my sweet jar because it's quite full. I thought, you know, every now and again we like a bit of a sweetie in there. And a lot of it is chocolate for Zach. So I grabbed a bag of that. That was that. Moving on from that guys. I was going to show you something else which is in this envelope but I think we'll save that for the TK Maxx video. Right, before we wrap this up, I grabbed some jammers from JD Williams. Now normally Simply B and JD Williams are the only two that I've seen them do this. Every year I buy these jammers and they're called Pretty Secrets. Um, the first three years ago it might have been. Yeah, not last year, but the year before, I bought the bat pyjamas, which were the grey bat ones. If I can find a picture of me wearing them, I'll pop it up here so you get to see. Yay! And then last year, they did the ghost pyjamas. They sold out so fast that I couldn't get a pair for my daughter. Now, I normally buy them for Christmas for my eldest daughter because she likes spooky pyjamas. My youngest daughter will not appreciate skulls and bats and stuff like that, spiders and stuff like that on her jammers. She's more of the 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 cuddly kind of jammers, like care bears and stuff like that. Or you know, um, I don't know. You know what I mean? And Chloe will wear the same jammers. And she even said the ones I got her not last year, the year before, are so comfy. I couldn't get her the ghost ones last year because they were gone. Uh, they only had my size and they would have drowned Chloe because she's only a size 10 to 12. So this year I wasn't going to make that mistake and I seen that they had some left both in our sizes but they were running low. So I quickly grabbed um, Chloe a pair which was a size 12 to 14. Yeah 12 to 14. I will put these away for Christmas. She knows, she knows I get them every year anyway. So I'll put these away for Christmas for her because the, the girls, I don't really go too mad at Christmas because she's got two daughters. Um, obviously, I'll give a little bit more to Leah. I'll probably give Leah a little bit of money to go in her bank this year and buy her the usual. I normally buy the girls jammers, nightgown, a bit of underwear, a bit of smelly, stuff like that. And I'll probably do the same this year. But with Leah, I'll probably put some money in her bank as well because she hasn't got any children. I always think it's fair to make sure that they all kind of get the same amount as equal um but like chloe's got two kids cameron's only got one kid obviously zach and leah don't have children so yeah so i'll show you what they look like guys so these are the the, the trousers they are always the same kind of style trousers really really comfortable the mid very very stretchy last, last year i wasn't impressed because the, there's holes in the crotch area so I'm going to ask my mother-in-law next time she comes if she will kindly stitch both of my trousers because I love them jammers so much and I don't want them to die just yet. So I'm going to get her to stitch them both for me. But that are the trousers and the top looks massive, guys. I actually got a 16 to 18, but I like it hanging loose jammers. I like I don't like being squeezy tight. Um, but again, the material is lovely. And these are sugar school ones. So really cheap, guys. They're £12. And I thought that's really, really reasonable. JD Williams Simply B. If they're still in there, I will link it down below. Um, hopefully. 
I think that is the only spooky jammers they'll do this year. They only do one style every year. Like I said, last year was ghosts, near before was bats. All right, guys, that is it for one below. Poundland, home bargains, and a little bit of J.D. Williams thrown in at the end. Take care, and um, what was your favourite item? Have you been to one below yet? Have you got a one below? I know one below is actually Pound World. The shop that it is in is not the shop that I used to work in, but I did actually work in that shop for a little while and I hated it so much. I had to go back to my shop, which was still in the in the Wolverhampton town where it was up Birmingham New Road. Um, so yeah, and then when I seen my friend, he was like, what are you doing in there? But he used to work at Pound World with me, but now he, he works at Pound World. So yeah. All right, guys. I absolutely love, I love these. I think, you know, what a nice thing to have. Um, I think both Penland and um, One Below have got really nice stuff in this year when it comes to Halloween. I mean, let's be honest, them cauldron cups and the cauldron candles are amazing and the pumpkin cups. Now, I thought One Below was supposed to do the, the pumpkin cups. So I did see him on somebody's pit, on somebody's picture. I might go back into town actually, maybe in another couple of weeks time before I go away to Rochdale, uh, if I go to Rochdale I say, um, before I go to Rochdale I will have a look at one below and see if they've got some new stock in, because I know Penland will probably be getting some new stock in. Alright guys, take care and see you in the next one, bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.